Hello viewers, welcome to DMAC. This is Dikshit Kumar and you're watching CASA Lab Tutorial. Let us solve experiment number 16. It is to determine stress acting on a rectangular plate with a circular hole. So this is a rectangular plate with circular hole. The given length is 60 mm, width is 40 mm. The hole diameter is 10 mm. Force of 2000 Newton is acting. The other side is fixed. Given Inks modulus 210 gigapascal, we need to convert into Newton per mm square. Thickness of the plate is 1 mm. Poisons ratio is 0.3. Let us quickly see the theoretical calculation for this. Given Inks modulus 210 gigapascal, we need to convert into Newton per mm square. You can follow this step. Poisons ratio is given. Thickness of the plate is given. Diameter of the hole is given. Width of the plate is given. We need to find the area that is width into thickness that will become 40 mm square then we need to find pressure that is force by area so the answer will be 50 newton per mm square we need to enter a negative value in ANSYS next we need to find nominal stress stress concentration you can refer design data handbook for this calculation next we need to find the maximum stress that is one measure stress so you can follow this step and the answer is 166.66 newton per mm square theoretically you can find all this calculation in casa lab manual linked in below description let us now find the answer solution for that click on preferences select structural click on ok select preprocessor select element type add edit delete click on add click on solid then select this option quad 4 node 182 click on ok then click on options their element behavior k3 pull down select plain stress w slash thk and click on ok then close next click on real constant click on add edit delete click on add click on ok so the thickness of the plate is 1 mm click on ok then close next we need to enter the inks modulus for that select material properties select material models select structural linear elastic isotropic inks modulus is 210 exponential 3 to 10 into 10 to the power of 3 newton per mm square and the poison's ratio is 0 0.3 click on ok then close this window i'll minimize this select modeling click on create areas rectangle by dimensions here we are creating one fourth of the rectangle for that we need to enter the x coordinate and y coordinate under x coordinate x1 will remain 0 and x2 will be half of the length that is 60 by 2 that is 30 mm and y coordinate y1 will remain 0 y2 will be half of the width that is 40 by 2 that is 20 mm then click on ok so this is one fourth of the rectangular plate now we need to create a circle I'll minimize all these options so it is same options modeling then create areas then click on circle then solid circle here the X will remain 0 Y will remain 0 radius of the circle is 5 mm then click on OK we need to eliminate the portion of circle from rectangle for that click on modeling i'll minimize all this option so this is modeling then click on operate then booleans subtract areas select the rectangular plate first and click on ok then we need to select circular plate then click on ok the portion is deleted now now we need to add meshing for that select meshing mesh tool so this window will appear there you need to click on 
mesh select the plate and click on ok so the meshing is done now we need to refine this meshing again you need to click on mesh tool there you will find as refine this window will appear there you have to pick all click here then the level of refinement pull down and select as 3 then click on ok so this is refined meshing now select solution define loads apply structural displacement symmetric BC on lines select bottom line of the plate then select the left side line of the plate you have to select the left and the bottom then click on ok now the boundary conditions are applied now select pressure it is same option I will minimize this it is define load apply structural pressure pressure on lines now you need to select the right side line of the plate this one then click on ok now here load pressure value so we have calculated this but we need to enter as minus 50 then click on ok you can see here the pressure is applied now you have to solve this for that I'll minimize this under solution click on solve current LS click on ok solution is done close then close this window the last step general post processor plot results counter plot nodal solution here you need to select stress then come down there you need to select one mesh stress click on ok so this is the stress value 162.404 newton per mm square you can also find that value here 162.404 now to view the full rectangular plate you need to select plot controls their style symmetric expansion periodic or cyclic symmetric you have to click here one fourth the header system click on ok so this is the full rectangular plate now to view the thickness you need to select this option isometric view again you have to go to plot controls style size and shape then display of element by default it will be off you have to click here it will be on then click on ok you can see the thickness of plate here now to animate this select plot control there animate deform shape select this option deform plus undeform and click on ok now it will run the animation you can control the speed so this is the stress acting on the element due to the force applied at last we need to compare theoretical and ANSYS value with the tableau column theoretically 166.66 newton per mm square and ANSYS is 162.404 newton per mm square so this is the conclusion for this problem with this we have completed the solution for the given problem if you like this video then please do comment like share and subscribe we'll meet in the next video thank you for watching